Hi, my name is Doomzeal. I'm uh, new to this game, but not new to Blizzard. I started World of Warcraft the week after release, so many, many years ago. Um, I don't play anymore. It's been a couple of years, but I played Magic the Gathering for probably 14 years or so. So uh, I'm about 30. I'm 30 years old, but I started when I was 13 or 14. Uh, built every kind of deck there ever was, so uh, this game is definitely nothing new to me, but I really like it, I love the concept, and what I'm doing right now is I'm, uh, just my first video, I am basically going to give a basic tutorial for new people, um, if you like the priest class, this, but it doesn't have to be priest, just play smart in general, and you'll do well. Uh, let's go for it. Okay, what I have is the in, in the link down below the video, all the way down there. Uh, well, kind of more like that direction. Uh, you're gonna find the deck that I am playing, although there's some adjustments because I've only been playing for a month, so, uh, we'll go ahead and do casual. Uh, <clears throat> I've only been playing for a month, so I don't have all the awesome cards, but uh, make sure you get a couple faceless manipulators. You want those running in every deck until you have some really good legendaries, because those will get you by. Somebody pops a good legendary, snag it, and then destroy it. That's why a priest is a really great class to start out and get good at. Uh, you can always take their legendaries and destroy them. So, you know. You'll see. Play smart. Uh, now we're in casual, so normally I would definitely mulligan right now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of shadow form. I don't use this very much, but then again, it could come in handy. I'm gonna have a full hand. This warrior could beat me. Warriors are actually warriors and paladins are my nemesis. Uh, sometimes a hunter if they use a lot of secrets but other than that I just I don't even think about losing to anything else so uh, let's see I think on my next turn I'm gonna pretend to lag out this is a dirty trick <laughs> I don't necessarily recommend it but uh, it's really fun because it makes them... Oh, this guy might be running a Murloc deck, too, so... Either that or his deck just sucks, but I'm gonna... Just, <laughs> just let my rope run out, because there's nothing I can do right now. And, uh... It's gonna make him think that I lagged out, so he might get hasty and do something stupid. Never do that. If somebody times out, you never know. They could have run over to grab their kid, or... Had to go pee really bad. Who knows what, so... Don't do anything different, no matter what the circumstances are in the game, if you want to win, especially if you're playing ranked. Right now, it's casual. No big deal. But, uh... I wonder... <laughs> this is a dirty trick. I, I don't do this very often, but... Uh, for the video's sake, I'm sick and tired of making videos. Um... I haven't lost yet, except for, well, one video I did, I lost the first round, but it's almost an hour long, because the second game was ridiculously long, but, uh, and the first one went pretty fast, Paladin just wrecked me, um, he, yeah, it was just uh, OP, <laughs> he, was, he was pretty good, he didn't make any mistakes, and I actually did make a couple mistakes, so, yeah, uh, but this is just really funny doing this, see, now I'll move my mouse so that it, the rope doesn't hit me back. I'll do something like I don't know, that. He can't see this, so. But he thinks right now that I'm gone, so he might do something stupid. Yep, see, he's going to give a zero. He's dumb to do that. Don't ever do that. Don't do that. Save that kind of... That's an emergency card. That's something that you want to hold in your hand. It's not worth it. Until you're in, towards, like, the you know end of the game... Uh, let's see, so, let's, four funsies, let's throw this guy out, it's the only thing I can do, I, I was gonna shadow, but, 
Not yet. But do you see what that did? He thinks, or he thought, that I lagged out, so he was just going to burn him and turn him, and that was a mistake. Now, I can kill my creature, that's fine. It's a good trade. How much did his Rolf Rider cost? Did three. Mine was three. It's a good trade. Okay. Well, let's just heal up. Not anything else we can do anyways, so. Wait. always a good move when there's not a lot out on the board when you got more hand more in your hand especially and it's you know you're over 20 health to seal up wait be patient good things come to those who wait I, I don't know I think a Senjin sealed master is useless uh, I wouldn't run that I would run something that's uh, cheaper with five. But anyways, that's just my opinion. However, I'm... Yeah, let's belch it right now. And then I'll throw out my cleric next turn. Or do I want to have some fun with him? It isn't worth it right now at this point. I'll just throw out my belcher. There's not really anything else to do. And if I need to, I'll silence that. But see... If you were, you wouldn't want to silence it now, there's no point in it. It doesn't get you anywhere. It's just annoys him. It makes him uh, get rid of that card when he otherwise wouldn't trade for it. So, yeah. Never do anything in haste. Just be carefully think out what you're going to do. See? This makes it a whole lot better. That's a better card for me to copy. And... Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really not sure what to do here. I'm kind of at a annoying point, but I, I could. I'm thinking about just ki going Shadow and killing his Shield Master. <sighs> but I don't know if that's a good idea. My first instincts tell me to become a copy of this guy, but I don't think it's time yet. I Yeah, I will. And then I'll get two health and draw a card. So... That way he can't really kill me. And then we'll silence his. So mine is pumped up, but his isn't. And we'll hold off so he can't. So he has to. Yeah, we'll do that. We're even matched right now, so I really couldn't tell you who's going to win. In fact, he's got the handle on me. He's got me below in health, but I have a healing ability, so we'll see. But yeah, it, depending on what happens, I'm probably going to use uh, Shadow Madness next turn. <laughs> Awesome, dude. That, thank you. Yeah, do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So if I hit him, he gets pretty big, and then I can heal everything else. Uh, and steal and heal and, let's see, one two, three cards I can draw right now, and I can kill that. So it might be worth it to do that. Uh, so if I... I can't kill his creature with that, so 
everything else. Yeah, let's go ahead and I'm just trying to decide which one do I want to steal. A two? Two or a three? If I steal the three, then it kills this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's steal this. Let's do this. We will bring out my cleric. We will kill that. And then we'll heal up. <laughs> Yay! I think that's not bad. <clears throat> He, he's probably going to destroy my creature, though. He's Usually, that's what warriors do, so. But if he doesn't, I'm going to copy it, and he's going to die. I win if he doesn't destroy my creature. Wow, really, dude? Okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> So we'll put out this guy. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to draw anymore, but oh well. So we'll hit this, and th what that'll do is take him up to five. See, and now I can kill him. And then I can still copy. Or I can just kill everything he's got and get this guy really big. So we'll do that. We will go like this and then use the heels here and then we'll tell him thank you because we killed everything of yours. Well, except for that. Oh, okay. And we drew some cards. So, yeah works next turn wild pyromancer comes out and that's just gonna make this guy huge I wouldn't mind having one of these in my deck but I just don't have room for it right now <coughs> well you're gonna pump him up that's you're not gonna happen, dude. I'm sorry. You're just gonna make him huge, and I'm gonna heal him some more. Okay. Well. So I'll heal him up and draw a card, and then I will. Probably copy him. I think that's the one I want to copy. So, do I want to do that? Yeah, I have no choice now. And then bring out the wild pyromancer to keep pumping these guys up and make them bigger and bigger, right? Yeah. Now I get to draw some more if he doesn't kill my cleric on this next turn, so. <coughs> The synergy with this is amazing. It's really fun. I'm gonna just steal his taunt just to... and then kill him. It's over. He's dead. I mean, I could play with him some more, but I can just win right now, so I might as well. I don't want to torment him. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, it's just unreal I think I man I'm considering putting some of those Garibashis in my deck because that would actually work really well it made me happy yeah, that was an easy win well so uh, again like I said I'll put a link to my deck and the one that I got this from is 
ah, uh, what's it called? It's it's a really well known priest shadow shadow priest deck. Uh, I'll put a link to it and let me know what you think. Um, you know, there's three three main things to focus on. Uh, and again, this video is just for new people, so if you you already know what you're doing, don't bother coming to my channel unless you want to uh, talk. I, I'd love to discuss ideas, you know, but uh, anyways, rule number one is card advantage. The more cards you have, the better chances things are going to happen for you. So always make sure you got something in your deck to make sure you keep getting cards. Unless you're a warlock, you don't have to worry about it, but having that like an acolyte of pain or something is nice. So, uh, two, board control. Make sure that you stay on top of things. You know, and never hit your enemy first. Always get rid of their creatures because even if it's just a little one-one, if you can get rid of it, do it. Because don't just hit them with all you got because that can be the death of you. <laughs> I've seen it way too many times where I think I, I'm at 30 health, he's at five, and then I die. And when I first started playing this, I'm like, what? So, and it's because of cards. You never know what they have. They could just have the most awesome combo right in their hand, waiting for that turn to do it and kill you in one shot. So, um, <clears throat> next is, and that's the last and most important thing, I think, is trades. Card value, okay? If you can kill a... If, if you can trade cards so let's just use an easy example if I can use a let's say he's got seven co mana cost creature that's out that has five health or six health how about six health and I use a two cost three two and a one cost uh, deal three damage while I have spe plus one spell damage on on the board then I'm going to trade those two cards because I only spent three mana and he spent seven. You see what? That's actually how you win the game is by getting the most value out of your cards. Card value is everything. Uh, so if you can get the most value out of it. So make your decisions based on that. It may not look like you're going to win. And, it, and then the, I guess the fourth thing to add is good things come to those who wait. So don't be impatient. If he, if he's just got a couple of characters out on the board and it's early game, so he's if he's smart, he's not going to pump up and beat into you early game uh, and screw himself later, you know. Uh, and if they are doing that, then you've got it in the bag already. But sometimes not, but most of the time. Um then just wait and heal yourself back up. You would be surprised. I, you know, I think in my last game, I healed, like, didn't ca throw anything out, sat with, like, six mana later on in the game and just healed myself and waited because he only had a 2-2 on the board. And I had lots of things I could have done, but none of it was worth losing. And until I had that combo, it's better to just heal up. I mean, if you're down at around, like, 15 health or so, then you want to get some defenses out there and whatever. But early game, don't don't worry about it. Just heal yourself up and wait. Good things come to those who wait. Don't be impatient. So, anyways, uh, I hope this helps. Feel free to message me anytime. Uh, email me. You know, I'm more than willing to answer questions. Um... Go on Hearth Pond and message me there. That's the best place to get a hold of me. I check it every day. All right, um, and good luck. You know, hopefully you get some good cards. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but definitely you want to buy at least 30 packs. That's what I did actually. So I was gifted to me, and that's kind of what got me into this game. But uh, really heavily. Get 30 packs, and you'll be amazed. And don't disenchant any th any legendaries. Don't do it. Unless uh, it's a gold, I mean, and you don't want it. But I'm telling you, it's not worth it. You will regret it later. Just keep collecting them. Uh, later on, when you have some amazing decks, then you can focus on disenchanting stuff. But up until then, don't do it. It's not worth it. 
uh, I disenchanted some stuff and I wish I hadn't, you know? Um, and bought a legendary that I didn't want. Do not buy class-based legendaries first. Buy other ones because you, you'll regret it. <laughs> if you're going to buy a legendary with your dust, buy something that all your classes can use. So, okay. Well, uh, good luck.